Oh, it's definitely been busy. And um, yeah, normally off season you sort of, uh, yeah, resting and you go on holiday and then you come back and you start training again. But it's just been so much busier and not a lot of rest really either. A lot of sort of here, there and everywhere, but I've really enjoyed it. But it's nice to just be back and doing the day job, so to speak, really, and just ride my bike and rest. And yeah, so obviously we start racing tomorrow, so. But of course you've, you've been anywhere and everywhere from, well, surrounded by thousands of fans in Cardiff, of course, at first, to the Graham Norton sofa, to Sports Personality Awards in Wales and nationally. Have you enjoyed being the Tour de France champion and everything it's brought, brought with it? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely been uh, good fun and uh, certainly different, but yeah, I've enjoyed it. And, um, but yeah, like I say, now it's back to just being a bike rider again, which I'm really looking forward to and sort of, you know, trying to go back to the tour again and get the best result I can again. It was strange that we're closer to the start of this tour than the end of the last one. But um, yeah, I think it's, you know, to when you reach the pinnacle and something that I've like dreamt of doing for so long and then to do it, it's kind of like, it takes all the pressure off now. And, you know, I don't see any, um, well, yeah, pressure. Like I say, it's just like, just enjoy racing and riding my bike and the challenges that brings. But, you know, I've kind of, I've reached it. I've done it now. So uh, yeah, to me, it's sort of, takes a, a lot of pressure off. Is the hunger still there to go and do those hard miles, to go and do those hard hills? Have you found that you're still hitting them as hard as you did 12 months ago? Yeah, I'm still, uh, that's what I still enjoy doing and that's uh, key to it all really, you know, I still enjoy riding my bike and, you know, doing five and a half, six hours every day. It's not easy, but it, the diet and everything is probably the hardest bit to it all though. But um, yeah, I'm still, at the moment anyway, it's, I'm, I'm still hungry for it. and and training hard, working hard, but um, I don't know, that might change come May or April, I don't know, you can ask me then, but for now it's all good. What kind of shape are you in? I guess people who, who've seen you all on the various television appearances um, maybe won't obviously be aware of quite how many hours you, you've still been putting in. How, how fit are you at the moment? How, what kind of shape are you in? Um, I kind of feel okay now, like good enough to sort of race, um, but I certainly wouldn't say I'm, I'm up for you know, a podium or a win here. It's just about sort of getting going again, really. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a decent enough Nick, you know. I did a lot of lot of work down in LA and um, yeah, and just build on that now really all the way through to sort of some bigger sort of, at least my initial sort of goals in, in April. So, and then obviously building up to July. And you talk about your chances at the Tour then. So is this you now starting on a campaign to to try and defend the title or are you just looking forward to just being back there because of the happy memories it, it now brings oh yeah i want to go there and, and get the best result i can so um just treat it like last year and, and try and get there in the best shape possible and you know once you're there you can't do anything then you just go out and race your bike and um so yeah it's all about just getting there in the best shape i can and um yeah what will be will be and what would be the biggest target for you now, having won that, that first sort of Grand Tour? Would it be another Tour de France? Would it be another Olympic medal? If you, I don't know if you're going to try and get to Tokyo, the road race or the time trial next year. What, what's the biggest thing you want to try and accomplish now in your career? Um, well, I'd love to win another Tour, obviously. But um, yeah, I want to go, well, the, the time trial at the World Champs in Yorkshire this year is a big goal as well. And yeah, definitely the, the Olympics as well. So um, yeah, still got some pretty big goals and, and big sort of targets to get me out of bed in the morning. And lastly, I've got to ask about the name on your shirt, Team Sky. Obviously, a big thing that's changed since you won the Tour is the fact that you will, after this season, no longer be Team Sky. How, how does that affect you as riders? Obviously, you yourself obviously have signed a contract for beyond this season. How is that going to affect you this year? And, and what, what do you think of them when you, know, when, you, when you plan your targets for next year, when you don't know actually whether your team will have a backup? Yeah, well, um, I won't be ta ta making targets and things like that for next year until November anyway. But um, yeah, it's just, we need to just concentrate on riding our bikes, you know, and do what we do and, and leave all that to to Dave and Fran and the guys in the team that are in charge of that. But, you know, we got every faith that we should be able to find uh, another sponsor. You know, I think it's a great setup here and it's, it's a proven uh, one of the greatest teams in sport, let alone cycling. So um, yeah, I can't, you, you never know though. That's, that's the thing, you know, with, um, sponsorship and things but you know we're pretty confident we'll be able to find something and the team can just uh, continue as, all, as ever.